Hey guys, Ariana here with Greg Seam. He's a panelist at the Driven Music Conference and label manager here at Dangerbird Records. They have some incredible talent, including the Silver Sun Pickups, Minus the Bear, and Butch Walker, just to name a few. Greg, thanks for your time. Thank you. So, uh, first of all, tell me about your history. I know you actually started with Equal Vision Records, and you were helping out with our digital marketing department, and now you're here at Dangerbird. So, walk me through your career. Yeah, pretty much uh, my career. I grew up in upstate New York, and Equal Vision Records was, like, the coolest thing ever then. I mean, this is, like, Converge and Saves the Day and all these, like, crazy, like, hardcore punk bands that were just a huge part of my life growing up. So I knew a couple guys who worked there just from putting on shows, and I kind of had a webzine and printed fanzines and all this kind of stuff, and um, bugged him, got an internship when I was still in high school there, nice. did that for a while, and then right after I graduated high school, I had a full-time job. So I think I took two days off and then just like started working. So with Dangerbird, being an indie record label, what kind of involvement does an emerging artist have as far as like they need to be really proactive? You know, I know everything is online and crowdfunding and all sorts of things. And then where does Dangerbird come in and also supplement that? Totally good question. Um, yeah, I mean, it's so interesting now because, you know, people are making their own records, funding their own records. They have fans already before labels are involved and all this kind of stuff. And it's a weird kind of justification because you know labels have such a bad rap in general i feel like you know you hear about it all the time labels screwing artists and just they suck so bad and all this kind of stuff but um you know with us being an independent company i think we definitely fill that void there where we totally work with artists who make their own records they could make them at home on a laptop they could do whatever, you know, they could have a producer, somebody in the band could make their record, whatever. Um, and then it might come to us and get to the point where like, all right, they have this record, they don't know what to do with it. Like, they're gonna put it on Bandcamp. Hope and, for the best. Just, like keep their fingers crossed yeah. and that's like it. Right. And I think, you know, where we jump in is bridging that gap where we don't have to be the people who own the masters anymore. Yeah. We don't have to be the people who like, interject ourselves and say you need to work with this producer but it's kind of like artists have their artistic freedom and make the art they want to make and then we figure out what to do with it. can you tell me about any of the people on your roster that you're really excited about right now totally um yeah we kind of have a bunch of different bands on the roster really silver sun pickups are kind of our flagship band they were the third release ever on danger bird with silver sun pickups they were the band playing in garages and bars down the street and stuff and then we signed them and started working with them and they exploded and they're all over the radio and just gigantic at that point we just put out another minus the bear release uh about three weeks ago um and those guys are on tour and such a pleasure to work with um we also work with this artist from athens georgia actually oh, okay. um named t hardy morris um, and he's incredible. Like we put out this sort of like Americana really stripped down record of his last year. And he just finished a new one. That's way more like grungy Southern rock Nirvana thing. Mm -hmm. So like, that's super fun. We work with Butch Walker, who's this incredible producer who, you know, produces Pink and Taylor Swift and Katy Perry and Weezer. And, you know, that's kind of his, his day gig and we put out his records, like his solo music. So um, that's an honor to work with that guy. I mean, he could do anything. He could have a record deal anywhere, and he kind of chooses to work with us. So that's like an absolute honor. Thanks so much for watching. I'm here with Greg Seam with Dangerbird Records. This is Ariana, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at Driven Music Conference.